pucker up buttercup. Here we go. I don't waste it. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it? Now you got to stick on your cheek. <laughs> Granberry sense today is going to be all about what not to get the grandkids for Christmas. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back to another episode of Granberry Sense. I'm so excited tonight to talk to you about gifts that you want to avoid for Christmas, the ABCs. As a Granberry, I have always, unfortunately, procrastinated at times and waited until the last minute. And you find yourself just grabbing things off the shelf because they're colorful or they're exciting and they look like fun, but you need to always remember that there are considerations that you need to make. This is the A and the B and the C that I'm gonna to talk to you tonight about. You don't want to get, for example, an annoying gift. If it's loud and it's constantly making noises that you know are going to drive you nuts all day long, avoid them at all costs, please. Although they're educational and they do teach colors and sounds and um, they're interactive, you need to think about how you can limit the interaction so that you don't become annoyed. The B part of my advice tonight is big. You want to try to consider all of the space that you have in your room or the room that you might uh, feel that the gift is going. If it's going into a bedroom, you've got to be thoughtful and mindful of the fact that there may not be room enough for a great big huge um, drum set, for example, or a great big dollhouse or big kitchen set. If you don't have room enough, in your home for these items, don't assume that they can just find a place for it because it doesn't always work that way. If, in fact, you are thinking about like a great big dollhouse or a great big um, swing set in the backyard, for example, you've got to make certain you ask the parents if you're a grandparent or if you're an aunt or an uncle or if you're just planning to give a gift. Be careful and always be considerate and ask the parent if they have room, if they think that this is an appropriate gift or something that uh, they aren't going to be overwhelmed by. One of the gifts that my own father gave my children was a go-kart and it was a full throttle, I mean five horsepower go-kart. Number one, it was dangerous. It was something that we always had to supervise and so remember that Whatever gifts you bring, you need to consider what time the parents will have for supervision if necessary, and make certain that it's something that is age appropriate. The, the last piece of advice tonight is the uh, C part of the ABCs on Granberry Sense. And the C stands for collectibles. Albeit, collectibles are beautiful, and I certainly will start a collection for games, but I wanna, caution you not to get your hopes up and not to be disappointed if you spend a lot of money on a collectible and the cat jumps in the tree for example on a, a radco ornament and the tree topples over and the radco ornaments cracked on the ground you kind of set yourself up. So be careful about what you do start as far as collections. Some of these Barbie dolls, people don't even uh, let them get out of the box or you know, how dare you even touch the box in some cases. Well, what is Christmas all about? It's about opening up the presents and getting excited about it and letting the kids play with the things that you purchased or bought or given them. So remember, as you go out and try to Grab those last minute Christmas gifts for your grandbabies or for friends or for your nieces or nephews. Be careful about the ABCs that I've mentioned tonight. Make certain that you're thinking about the annoying gifts, the big gifts, and the collectible gifts. I wanna hear your stories about the biggest gift or possibly the most annoying gift and or the collectible gift that you may have received that you never got to play with. Respond to me in the comments. I have enjoyed reading all your comments. Games is about over it tonight, so I'm gonna call it a day. I can't wait until next Monday to see you back. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button because I always like to know that you are enjoying Granberry Sense. See you next week. See you later, alligator.